and we're live finally sorry we're late a little bit of a uh, technical issues today a few technical issues but that's okay we made it oh dear yeah the sim crashed on me a couple of times booting up so I'm a little bit concerned about how that might go for the rest of the stream but we will do what we can so that being said, we're a little bit pushed for time. We do have enough time for the flight. That's all fine. We don't have enough time for a cold and dark, so hence we've spawned on the runway. Bevy, how you doing? Sorry I'm late. Technical hiccups. Apparently I, I got an error message saying that my GPU encountered an error, and it said this could be because of like overclocking. It's like, well, I haven't overclocked my GPU. What are you talking about? Um... Not the first time I've seen that happen. Interestingly, it was uh, the same place in The Sims that happened last time. So you know when you start a flight, if you spawn on the runway, you kind of get that scene where you kind of get some cinematic views of the plane taxiing to the runway. It's always there that it does it. Which is really weird. Good morning, hello. I'm not sure how to pronounce your YouTube username. How should I be saying that? Demise Mize? Would that be right? I don't know, could be horribly wrong. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump into here. Let's jump into here, have a quick look at the route. Oh dear. I had a great stream last night. A really great stream. Terrible in terms of numbers, but wow, what a flight. I did Wellington, New Zealand to... Queenstown. That approach was just amazing. So we're doing 4,000. Let's put the old constraints on here. Above 4,000. And it's straight to 34. Alright. I don't need telling twice. Straight to 34 it is. Because we'll clear 34 or 4,000 very, very quickly indeed. So let me just run you through the route. Zoom us out of touch. So here's us. We're going to take off roughly to the west and start making our way southwest, following more or less the coast in a straight line until we get to here. Where we go make our way into Broome. Now, the plane has drawn an interesting set of lines for our approach. If we can see it. There we go. So it wants us to come around here, there, then there, and straight in. Which to me seems a bit odd. I won't lie. That does seem a little bit odd. So I think the nearer we get to this, I may take manual control. I think this is the A32NX doing a bit of weirdness. We went back to bed. <laughs> so what time is it now? For you? Must be what? Six in the evening? Roughly? See, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Because we've only got... We've got five miles from that waypoint. So as long as we are... I've got a funny feeling the plane's going to get to here and just start doing weird, just circling. Like it gets confused. I've seen it do that before when you see a, a route similar to this. So I'm slightly unnerved by that. Nor is it an ILS approach. So try and do it visually, that could be quite cool. Anywho, I think we're good to go. We're fueled, got people on board. Flap set to one, let's lock the door. Lights are good because we've spawned on the runway, so it's done it for us. This is all going to go really well. Really, really well. Alright. Let's get that parking brake off. Just going to straighten ourselves a little bit on this centre line. Alright. Let's go to Broome.
pretty certain this is the runway we landed in on. Okay, let's rotate. Fifteen degrees, a little bit over, positive rate, gear up. Gauge also pilot. And auto throttle. That's a cool view of Darwin, huh? Moving over the side. See that redness of the earth again, can't you? That broom is named after a broom. <laughs> Maybe. So I guess that's Darwin. Is that like the main bit of Darwin there we're looking at? That must be. Looks like the stats at the top are a little bit confused. Maybe we need to hit the first waypoint for it to trigger. it's handling like a vacuum cleaner from the outside so depending on where you are in the aircraft if you're in front of the engine you will get that sound it's because the blades on the engine are moving faster than the speed of sound you get a very strange sound of it whereas if you go behind the engine much quieter see the difference there especially if we go in front of the engine out here I noticed that once on a flight, I was on a Ryanair flight to Italy, and I was right in front of the engine, and I hadn't flown very much at that point, and I was like, what is going on with this engine? Is it like going to blow up? Or is it like, it's fine. And once you get into cruise and the engine spool back, it gets much better. little cloud there looks a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> that one was like disintegrating into nothing. Irvine goes burr indeed. Alright, how are we looking? Nearly at 10,000 feet. There or thereabouts. Oops, wrong button. I feel like I need to improve the quality of the shadows. They look very... Uh 
spudgy. You know what we need? Top Gear do that? Was it they like used it as a rotisserie for a chicken? Like a fighter jet engine or something? <laughs> Sounds like the kind of thing Top Gear would do. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, map because it's broken. Classic Top Gear. Good stuff. Difficult now. It must be difficult to come up with new ideas that aren't rehashes of old ones. Which I think is why Clarkson's Farm has done so well. An entirely new platform for him him to be an idiot on basically and people love that don't they people love watching him fool around and get things wrong people yell at him he acts dumbfounded as to why they're angry at him This is definitely broken. I don't really know why. Get out of here, VLC player. Get out of here! in here. Everything is going gloriously. Oh, look at that. Dumb question. But I ask this as a uh, as a Brit that's never been to Australia. Where's the barrier roof? Is that Sydney side? Brisbane. That's where we started, wasn't it?
Okay. So next question. From a Brit that's never been to Australia. Where is Steve Irwin Zoo? I kind of feel like if I was ever going to go to Australia, I'd like to uh, make a pilgrimage to that place. Damn, he was good, wasn't he? He had such a way of being able to talk about animals to the broader public. And not to scare them, but to... As in, not to scare the public about the animals, but to give you an appreciation for the animals. Not to fear them. What zoo? Uh, you know Steve Irwin, right? The wildlife dude. I'm guessing he's a big deal in Australia because he's a massive deal over here. Remember when he, um, when that stingray killed him? It's like it was on the news for days. Like everyone was really upset about it. Yeah, absolute legend. I'll never forget, he went to Austra uh, not Australia, he went to America. And he kind of made the point that he's done loads of shows about Australian snakes. Now he wants to uh, do one about the rattlesnake. And he's there, crouched down, found this rattlesnake, crouched down. With a rattlesnake on a stick, showing it to the camera. And then he goes, you could just see him lock up. And he's like, hold your ground, guys, hold your ground. There's one right between my legs, I didn't see it. So there's a second rattlesnake right between his legs. And he just so calmly, the rattlesnake he's got in his hand, he just puts it down to the side, reaches down, gets the other rattlesnake, puts it over there. Job done. I was like, the composure that he had was incredible. to think that he died from a stingray. One of the few recorded deaths of a stingray. Killing a human. Look, the animals that he handled. The positions that he put himself in. And then that was what got him. What a guy, though. What a guy. How are you doing, TK? Are you okay? any of you that haven't hit the like button yet, that would help me out a ton, just saying.
nice. So we're just... Just coming up on cruise. Oh no, sorry to hear that, TK. That's not fun. Hopefully my commentary doesn't ruin the soothing vibes for you. <laughs> ah, all that window sound. Anyway, lucky for you, I'm going to go and make myself a cup of coffee. So you've got a few minutes of uh, uninterrupted engine noise. You take it easy.
Right, I'm back. Get the passengers to fly the plane. Yeah, come on, drive like duh. I'm trying to get my levels right. If you've noticed the audio going up and down, that's me fiddling. I think. How's that? Plane noise, music noise relative to mic volume. Is that pretty good? All hail the autopilot, that's what I say. I will, however, just do a quick check in to make sure we are flying where we should be flying. Seems okay here, cool. Basically, when I went to make coffee, I put the stream on my phone and put my AirPods in. And I just thought, that's a bit quiet compared to like other YouTube videos, but then I guess it's. I guess it should be, if it's like the background is the engine noise and the music. Right, how many miles we've got to run? I'm not liking DLSS on this game at all. It makes these screens really blurry. Okay, so we're at 34,000, making our way to Toby, uh, then by Burham 1, or Burham I, needs to be at 3,000 feet. Use headphones at 100% volume. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> RIP your eardrums. Okay. Let's work out when we need to descend. So what are we at? 34,000. Descend to 3,000. 2,000 feet a minute, roughly. 104 miles. We've got 440. To go. BRME, is that an I? BRMEI. BRMEI. See if it'll take that. Nice. 404 miles. So basically, 300 to top a descent. If we've got 104 that we need to descend down, and it's 404, like 403 now. Are we using the experimental version? No, uh, no, Gypsy, we're not. We're on the stable version just because... I don't know. When it comes to things like streaming and live content, I just, you know, I'm very conservative with what I'm willing to run. Many moons ago I used to work for a broadcast engineering company where we'd go around and build, service, maintain radio studios and the golden rule was always just don't mess with stuff when you're in a live environment. So I think a lot of that has stayed with me. 
I mean, for context, if you imagine a radio station, they've got their music, they've got their traffic and travel, they've got their news, uh, they've got their adverts, and then the presenter needs a PC just to use, to just like go on Google and stuff like that. So in the equipment room, the racks room as we called it, we would have five PCs all stacked up in a rack. And the only job they had, so one would just do the music and nothing else. So a clean install of Windows and the playback software, like the music library, whatever system the radio station brought into, that was all that PC would do. Equally, the adverts, when they play the ads, clean install the windows and the advert software. And that was all that machine would do. So I'm not quite going to that extreme. I'm, I mean, I'm on a one PC setup here, but I think that definitely stays with you. Remember, I was quite young at the time, sort of early on in my working days, and it was like, was like why are you doing that? Why have you got five PCs when you can just get one? It's only playing music. It can't be that hard, right? That's not the point. The point was, it cannot crash. Is it normal to eat whipped cream on its own, or am I insane? Maybe we should do a poll on that. I'm going to end the current poll, because clearly the A320 is the winner. that can be a new segment of the stream question of the day to get on to Overwatch 2 last night. I hear they were having a few issues. of the vote on no at the moment, albeit only one vote. We need to get an answer to this very important question. So I'd encourage you all to vote in the poll. We're asking the big questions on this stream.
It is a revolutionary question, you're right. You know, this is the kind of out-of-the-box thinking you can expect when you come to this sort of stream. So far, the answer is no, it is not normal. 100% of the vote. Only one vote. So that could all change. Christmas. You hear the fridge door open. Then you just hear the sound. It's like, are you eating whipped cream straight out of the can? Yes. She got on Overwatch last night, Rob, or was it a uh, game over? Tried for 10 minutes to move to Warzone, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't even bother. Didn't even bother. I finished the stream last night and we landed in Queenstown and uh, I don't know what it was, I just fancied a bit of ground war on Modern Warfare. Getting a bit of a taste for that, which is just as well because it'll be quite a big part of Modern Warfare 2. Oh, five votes. Two people saying yes, it is normal. Now that Modern Warfare 2 is so close and Warzone 2 is so close, I just can't be bothered to play Warzone. I feel like my time's better spent in Modern Warfare, kind of getting into the vibe. Come on, there's 18 of you in the chat now. For 18 viewers. We need this question answered. Get in the poll.
Oh dear. You can always rely on the bots, eh? Oh, they're gone now. Our picture of a hat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You'll never swap the bots. They're everywhere on YouTube. Luckily, I haven't reached the point yet where I've got bots in the comments being like, click on this link, basically pretending to be me, being like, click on this link and I'll send you free stuff. And then it asks for like loads of money for the postage. That's a very common scam. Never fall for that. Alright, let's have a quick check, see how things are going. So we're 260, we'll call it 265, to Barami, 
We'll call it Burmy. Let's call it Burmy. So we need a hundred and... is it 105? Yeah, 105 miles to descend from our current altitude to 3,000 feet, which is where we need to be at Burmy. So 160 miles to top of descent. So we're making our way through it. We're getting there. How's the pole going? Good question. Let's have a look. No, 67% in favour of no, it is not normal. 67% of people don't think it's right. I think they need to have a word with themselves personally, but you know, the people have spoken. And it's an important question. Hey Glitch, how's it going? that EQ working out for you. <laughs> right, we'll give Glitch the benefit of the doubt.
Last chance, Glitch. Last chance. is moving in favour of yes it is normal now only 60% of people say it's not normal 40% of people think it's alright and I'd be inclined to agree yeah this is obviously a trash tier stream that they all come to <laughs> easy target right on our distance. How many miles out are we? 213. 100 miles to go till we descend. Not long. There's a big old blanket of cloud as well. back in a couple of minutes. All right, back. You know, the pole is uh, nearing fifty fifty. hope for it yet. Alright, 185. What's the estimate? Still 105.
Oh no, here we go again. It's all going on today. Was that a different one? Possibly it was. How are you doing, Sabina? You alright? Good to see you. Basically, we're going to use the distance between this waypoint and that one to get us down, aren't we? We need to be at 210 as well. Definitely going to need spoilers. <laughs> Definitely going to get spoilers. I'm going to change my graphics settings for the next stream as well. I mean, look at this fuzzy shadow here. Basically, I turned on ray tracing and then I turned on DLSS. And I noticed my GPU usage like shot up to 100%. So I thought, I wonder if I turn the ray tracing off and leave DLSS on. Maybe we'll use less energy on the GPU. It's sat at 80%, so it's not really saving much. It's weird though, in the context of like real time flights, you can use a lot of juice. What with the price of electricity at the moment? How's oh, Sim Update 10? Sim Update 10 seems fine. Seems really good. Way less crashy. Albeit I had a crash this morning, but I haven't had a crash in flight yet. Crash to desktop. That was really annoying. Last time we had one of those. We've flown about an hour and a half to Vegas. Just coming in on the final turn. Boff. Straight to the desktop. Couldn't believe it. second monitor. I might keep an eye on things. You know what, Glitch? It's, uh, It's been fun, but we're, uh, we'll be seeing you.
Ah, uh, good, right, time to enter our destination data. So, Q and H. One, zero, one, zero. Temperature on the ground, 27. Dam's warm. And wind is 270 degrees at 9 knots. Yeah, it's been a bit weird today, hasn't it? I've had all the unsavoury characters stop by. Present company excluded, of course. I don't know where I can find the information to put in the Barrow field. I'm looking at the charts and I just can't see it. I look at examples of where to find it on the chart and it's just never on the charts that I seem to have. Alright, I'm going to start us descending and give us a little bit more time because we do need to drop quite a lot of speed. There we go. We are starting to descend. See that fuzziness there on the numbers? That's DLSS doing that. I may have to turn that off. It's starting to annoy me a little bit. 
You hate how YouTube hasn't done anything about the bots. Yeah, it's a hard problem to solve though. It really is. I follow a lot of like PC kind of tech channels because I'm kind of into that. And one of them said the best thing you can do actually is to... Because they all seem to use emojis so much. Is actually just block emojis. Just filter them out and then that basically gets rid of the bots. And then they'll start using more obscure emojis and then you just have to keep up with it and block those too. Still that red Australian soil, isn't there? Incredible landscape. Let's hope Room has a runway long enough for the A320 to land because it's a small airport. Yep, let's hope so too. <laughs> It's funny, landing into Queenstown last night in New Zealand, an amazing approach because you're literally snaking your way through the valleys of the mountains to get yourself to the uh, to the runway. Absolutely incredible. I mean, I was following the charts exactly, like to the altitude restrictions, to exactly the, the right waypoints you needed to be at, and there were points where I thought, is this safe? Like, are we going to go right into a mountain? But, it was fine. I just let the plane follow it. I kept an eye on altitudes and it just weaved its way down brilliantly. Such an amazing approach. But the thing, the reason why I bring that up is because when we got to Queenstown, the plane did its normal call outs like 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. And when it got to 5, I was like, there's no way I'm 5 feet above the ground. I must have set the altimeter wrong or something. But then, sure enough, you hear the, you know, the wheels hitting the deck. We were at five feet. And actually someone in the chat made the good point that it's a very, very narrow runway in Queenstown. And that narrow runway almost gives you a sense that you're higher than you are. And I had never considered that. So we were fine the whole way down. But that narrow runway really made you feel high. Awesome approach. In fact, I have a short going live in four minutes, three minutes. The cockpit view of the landing. A little bit on the late side. Nothing too horrendous. Alright, just coming up to 24,000 feet. So that's 10,000 done. Another 21 to go.
Oh, look out. The poll has changed in favour of it being okay to eat whipped cream on its own. Good to know that cooler heads have prevailed. So in about three to four hours from Perth. Yeah, so what I might do... Oh, there was a place beginning with C. I've forgotten its name already. Carnivon? Is that right? Carnivon? So the plan was initially to go to Carnivon today. And on the map I thought well, it wasn't that far. But actually it was like three and a half hours from Darwin. So maybe we'll do Broome to Carnivon. And then Carnivon down to Perth. Maybe we'll break it up that way. We've still got 83 miles to go until we need to be at 3,000 feet. We're making good progress. Just coming up on 20. Obviously, we've got our speed to consider as well. Three hours broom to Carnival. So I know it said Darwin to Carnivon was going to be more like three and a half hours and I was like, I do not have time for that. I can't do that. I have to be out of here at a certain time in the mornings. So I split the difference and went to Broome. So in my mind, it should be about an hour and a half to Carnivon from Broome. But then, like you say, how much is it from Carnivon down to Perth? That could be a lot longer. I suspect it probably is. Just from eyeballing the maps. Alright, 15,000 feet, making our way down. Not far now. Two hours 35, broom to Perth. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Try and get ourselves down to 250. See if we can achieve that by levelling off our descent just a touch. So we've still got 60 miles. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can see the plane look is freaking out already. <laughs> All right, speed brakes it is. Need to be down at 210, really. I'd rather get that under control sooner rather than later. Coming up on 10,000, so we'll get get our lights on. Just going to make 250. <laughs> Just in time. There we go, so the plane's happy again now of its route, because I saw it drawing all sorts of weird lines a moment ago. Something tells me the plane isn't going to like this. Well, we'll have to see. See if it will bring itself around, because that does buy us a lot more track miles. It's 17.40. where it gets interesting anyway. So we've got 54 miles to run. the menu? Absolutely nothing. You get nothing on this airline, it's rubbish. I wouldn't recommend it. Terrible airline. One star. Do not recommend. That's a good question about the uh, active users. I've got a couple in the evening streams that are very active. Almost always there. Right. The support has been incredible. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to say. I'd say you're probably, if not top, level top. Just from my sort of anecdotal data. Scientific by any means. Yeah, I'm going to keep us at 3,000 because I think we're going to get there soonish. I appreciate you, I really do. 
I hope you know that. No, I don't have a Discord server. I was thinking about that the other day. Nice, 3,000. So now we've got from here to around here to slow down. There's a very real chance we're going to have to do a go-around. of time. Yeah, let's see the plane starting to freak out a little bit. Starting to tighten up that loop. We do direct to do that for us. Yes, there we go. Now we've started. Oh, Indy's here. How are you, Indy? You good? Alright, let's get ourselves into managed and we will activate our approach mode. Good, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Always good seeing you in the chat. Your 1.4k on TikTok, awesome, that was great. That's incredible. Good for you. Still got that Australian red soil. Such a cool look. I love it. So we're at 3,000. Let's uh, hop back in here and show you the plan. I'm gonna make one turn, bring us on final. Let's try and do a visual approach, just for the funsies. Seeing as there's no ILS. Just for fun. Because if we're not having fun, what are we even doing? We're five miles out from our turn, then we'll come in on final. Ugh, I hate that shadowy flickeriness. We are a real airline, obviously. didn't it? It really did. Such a diverse landscape, it's incredible. Right. Feet on rudder pedals. It's about to get serious.
should turn any moment. There we go. Wow, look at that. Runway. Where are you? Where is the runway? Can anyone see the runway? Still ten miles out, but if anyone sees the runway, please do let me know. <laughs> it's just rendered in. <laughs> 2,500. Yeah, down. Auto brakes, medium, spoilers, armed, lights, on. You can just, I could just see it. Only just, though. See it if I zoom in a little bit. There we go. Look, just there. All right, autopilot off. Let's try and get ourselves at about 700-ish feet a minute descent rate. Should keep us on the straight and narrow. Two reds, two whites. What's up with the screen? There we go, coming in steady, how are we doing? Too red, too white. Oh, you mean, uh, where, where are the stats? Is that what you mean? And like the mini-map and all the other stuff. Yeah, that, um, I didn't want to work today. I had a few technical issues going live this morning. Sim crashed on me. Oh, this is really glary. And, yeah, we kind of had to just get live without it, unfortunately. So apologies for that. Let's get our nose down a touch. Five hundred. Hundred above. Four hundred. Minimum. Three hundred. Looks like the runway should be long enough. 200. A bit low. Getting blown off course 100. here. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Oh, that wasn't butter, but... Worst.
That wasn't bad. Was not bad. Seeing as we had no ILS instruments to guide us down, I was quite happy with that. Right. Now, are we going to be able to turn on this tiny, tiny taxiway? <laughs> oh, get out of the way, you silly van. New rule is that I'm ignoring all those vans. Can I park in here? Let's get in here. I cannot park in here. So what is this for then? Is this just a place to get out the way? Must be. Oh, let's keep going around. Yeah, that was alright, that. That landing, that was... I say, not one for the Hall of Fame, but that was definitely... Uh, acceptable. Coming through. This is a small airport, though. You were right. Yeah, this is where we're going to park. Well, we made it. We made it. So, we're going to try Carnivon, is it next? Potentially Perth. We'll see. We'll see where we go. Either way, we're going to try and get ourselves down to Perth and conclude our tour of Australia there. We'll have to find somewhere else to go. Oh, it'd be crazy in an actual A320 at this place, wouldn't it? But, hey, we're here now. That's the main thing. Anyway, thank you all so much for being here. If you're new around here, hit the sub button. Leave a like. It really helps the channel a ton. I'd really appreciate it. Um, we try and do four streams a week. And uh, we do lots of short content as well. So there'll be a, a short version of this landing coming up on the channel in the next few days. So get subbed, hit the bell, so you don't miss all that. Thank you all for being here. Um, I know some of you have been here the whole time. That's awesome. I really do appreciate you for that. And uh, I'll be live again. Be live again um, on tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. About 7pm UK time. Bye, love you streams. Ah, oh, thanks, uh, Jalice. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Appreciate you being here, I really do. And uh, with that, I wish you all a good day. You look after yourselves, and if you're around, I'll see you at about 7 p.m. UK time tomorrow. If not, catch you next time. Take care.